what's up my single chats and toxic gamers coming at you with a top 12 brand new games that are coming out this year some of them are gonna be coming out next year and let's see if there's at least one good game the first one is called Kingmakers and apparently a lot of people are saying it's very very good do not judge it just based off the first couple of seconds I've read a lot of comments I've skimmed through it there's also a free-to-play game that you can download and that might actually challenge Call of Duty will it be a Call of Duty killer though we're gonna find out and look at that I mean damn look at uh, there's so many NPCs and there's a lot of stuff happening in gaming that I want to go through consider this to be like new games plus podcast and everything like that guys like and share subscribe if you're brand new appreciate all the love on the channel so far as well and uh, let's actually get into it this is only the first game we got so many more that are coming out right after and comment your favorite game from the list this one, I'm seeing a lot of people getting hit in the G-spot. Like, I, I have yet to see a single soul saying, I caught the erectile dysfunction. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And there's so much leaks going around in the community. PS5 Pro, GTA 6, we're hearing the next Call of Duty. People had a meltdown with Xbox news recently too, which we figured out it was nothing. It was just like a nothing burger, but a lot of people panicked. And I'm not sure if you guys heard about this or not. You know, we're hearing about a medieval game coming from Rockstar Games too. So this kind of gives me that vibe. Let's bump up the audio. Like, oh my goodness. Bro. What? Yo, this game looking like the finals right now. And it's called Kingmakers. Damn. You can visually now as well, 2024. Welcome to the world of Vampire Dynasty. This I'm Vampire. Gidroj, sound and game designer at Me Human Games. Uh, Man Dynasty fell to series sleep, okay. features extensive management and building mechanics for everything imaginable. Building a castle, managing thralls and vampires are important parts of our game. But oh, as what? developers with experience in adventure games and fans of vampires in pop culture, Dang. we're bringing the story aspect to a new level in the franchise. It always hits different when the actual devs start talking without having an AI voice, you know. Motivations I mean? and tough moral choices. The child will be killed. That's my final word. The eternal mother is concerned. While Vampire Thoughts? Dynasty is a multiplayer game, the main character is Dragus, who is the team's spokesman. Still, all plot choices are made together by players. I wonder oh. if had yeah. I put up the <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Pirates, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean the looking kind of wild right now. The Eternal Mother would That's like Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, so for so far, this game is looking kind of odd. I feel like that if we you're... Created Sangavia, taking inspiration Honestly, it's looking good here. ...and also incorporating fantasy and mythical elements. Superstitions and legends about vampires become reality here. Okay, it's looking more than history odd. has been a turbulent one. Humanity has just recently been freed from murder and slavery of vampires. Remnants of wars and ancient magic can be found in this world at every turn. Oh my god! Yo, I like that though. Initially, It is I was into gonna... this world that Dragos and his companions are thrown. How will they balance taking care of the people with their increasing thirst for blood? Are they the only bloodsuckers who intend to rebuild vampire power? Oh, and finally, bad. is it possible to create a dynasty whose dominion will last for eternity? You will get to know the answers. To that guy looked like Paul Bear, right? Those of you who know, you know it. For the world of... What? Okay, not bad, honestly. Vampire in Dynasty. Initially, I was gonna say it didn't look that... You know what I mean? But then it started looking good. Yo, what? We got Battlefield 1? D-Master? Bruh. And, and thoughts on uh, Battlefield right now, guys? You care for it, you don't care for it, you're looking forward to the next Battlefield game, yeah or nay? Man, Battlefield 1 was a masterpiece, so this game is similar to that. Although, like, listen man, I got no problem with World War 1 or World War 2 games. It's just that we've gotten so many of those games, it just, you feel what I'm saying, right? Like, it don't feel that, uh, like, suckers don't get that much dopamine. Here and there, alright, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I would love to get games like that. I guess World War One hasn't been done too much, so it's fine. And, and to be honest though, this game feels like that it's gonna have a little bit of depth, especially with the tanks, right? 
Because if it didn't have tanks, then I would be like, yeah, whatever, right? Because now it got tanks, so I'm assuming it's going to have other vehicles. Does it have, like, aerial combat? Because if it does, then that's going to be awesome. Call of Duty 2024 leaks are going around that it's going to be coming out in October. I mean, that's not even leaks, though. We had leaks last year, but uh, Xbox and Microsoft, they confirm it's coming out in, 20, uh, in, like, this year, October 2024. And, yo, look at my guy. What the hell? <laughs> and it has the potential... Not fully confirmed, 100%, but it can come out on Game Pass. Oh, shit. Yeah, it can, actually. Thoughts on that one? I think if you got Game Pass, then in a way you're gonna get it for free. Yeah, it looks like a Lego, Lego Battlefield 1, man. Not bad, not bad. You know, uh, I'm surely not gonna be able to kill Call of Duty. Let's be real. Let's keep a bug here, guys. And PS5 Pro leaks are going around too right now. So we're hearing it's gonna be coming out by the end of this year. Bruh. How many of you guys are looking forward to it? Because uh, uh, I, I made a video on it. We had GTA 6 leaks too. Uh, definitely check it out on the channel. I uploaded that recently. Uh, so check out the last GTA 6 video. Click on the channel. Check it out after this one. And we had some good leaks for it. We're here, but the only bad news is that it might actually be 30 FPS on the PS5 and Series X. That, that's the only bad news, and uh, that it's gonna be 60, 60 FPS on PS5 Pro. Uh, I don't know about that one. This is Metro 4. Coming. It's confirmed. It's more real than ever Wait for before. it. We're gonna talk more about it, okay? All right, after. And details from this next mainline project in the series, thanks to 4A Games themselves, which are the creators of the Metro games. The team is officially starting to tease the new game, and they're really hyping things up with it, saying it'll be a true next-gen post-apocalyptic experience. One Th thankfully, they come. They confirmed this decade, right? They did not say 23. They say 22, and then. <laughs> You know, you have, you have, it might come out in 2029, Best. though. And in my opinion, we've yet to see a game that is truly next-gen, that shows all of its 100%. potential with the new technology, 100%. with enhanced graphics, a perfectly crafted and beautiful world full of details to see and find, realistic animations, movements, combat, and so on. We've yet to see a game like this, but this new Agreed. little game wants to be truly next-gen with the most immersive environments yet, and of course the atmosphere. Also the craziest and most realistic Features yet, and a full on exciting story continuation with Artyom, most probably. The next Metro game has been officially confirmed to be releasing in the near future, either in 2024 or in 2025. Though, or, or I would say 2029. Before we get into Bye, the details, the starter by saying the next mainline game in the Metro series will launch when it's ready. That's what developer 4A Games said in a post on Twitter just recently, celebrating the fifth year anniversary of the latest Metro game, Metro Exodus. 4A Games revealed that this game sold over 10 million copies, which that's is insane. massive. Yeah, and that's, the next one will be good. even more ambitious. The studio also talked about the next game being the VR title Metro Awakening that's launching later this year. This VR game is not the biggest Metro project and, and not the future of the Metro franchise. How many of you guys played Metro? I never really played it, but it does look very, very intriguing. Okay, I'm down. I'm inclined to see the next one because let's be real though. Like, like I said, like there aren't that many next-gen games right now. In fact, none. I mean, Spider-Man 2 looks good, but let's be real, man. Like, it doesn't look like next-gen. It is great, okay? I'm not denying that, but like, come on now. You know, we need a real next-gen game, okay? Uh, maybe this is gonna be in apparently uh, 2025. I feel like that a lot of good games are gonna be coming out either by the end of this year or next year. Like, 2025 is feeling packed. This one is called Power Wash Simulator X Warhammer 40K, coming out Witness this year. Oh, crap! This is coming out in five days from now. ...adorned in filth, a testament to their glory. Yet the machine spirits yearn for reawakening. Shit. In the likeness of the Omnissiah. Purity. Okay, what are we thinking? WL? It is an honor. Are you caught the erectile dysfunction? Because I'm catching the erectile dysfunction right now, not gonna lie, guys. Aquabus, our adversary. Dirt. Okay, it's like painting. Is it like the Hitler glory with a power armor or power washer? Damn, son. So they're like painting everything right now. Restoration must be performed. Our purpose is true. Purge the unclean. Okay, what you guys saying? Can anybody pop one of power wash? Okay, so 
，例如战场上的烟尘、炮火、擦着头皮飞过的枪线。当然还有各种装甲车、坦克、炮台、飞机的体验等等。下次测试中大家就可以玩到这个玩法。如果 I want to play Delta Force too, my man， 你会发现有一些非常熟悉的地图和味道。Not final， 危险行动这个玩法，我们也带来了。I love the 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 no disrespect though. I love the I love the accent when they say What are you doing right now? I love it. I've been like trying to learn the accent though, like Russian. I love the Russian accent. I love the Habibi accent, the Arab accent. Uh, obviously I'm Pakistani, so I I love the Indian Pakistani accent as well. Like thank you for coming in. You know what I mean? So that's uh I love that. Yeah, these are my like top accents. Jamaican, absolutely. Bumblecla, the Bumblecla accent, one of my favorite though. 全新的 boss， 还有爷青回的彩蛋等着你。在武器和干员上也有不少的新货。这个版本我们将带来十六把新武器。Brother is saying don't just the pom pom, okay? Uh, but but holy crap! So I feel like that this is like brand new gameplay uh or stuff reveal allowing for gun tuning, optic selection, and much more. All of which significantly enhances. We've also established an international performing and introduced film shooting techniques. Oh god damn! Damn, sir. 通过定格摄影。Yeah, I'll just lower the volume because like there's no point. You guys are not gonna understand. I'm not either. Additionally, we've added more nuance for the characters in the equipment lobby. Damn, she looking like a snack right now. Uh, we've also conducted a comprehensive overhaul of the firearms. Uh, okay, so this is my first time seeing like this. I feel like this is new reveal, and does not look that bad. And it's apparently gonna be free to play. You guys think that I can compete with Call of Duty? Your name. Personally, I would say no. I know a lot of suckers believe that the finals would, and the finals not denying it's an alright game. It's a、uh, very very good game, but. Players are dropping like flies. Nobody's talking about the finals no more. The reason lack of content, people don't care, people move on, whatever. And it's sad because every game that looks promising nowadays, people play for just a week, two weeks, and just scurred like peace out. I don't know why that is, man. I know why that is. It's lack of content. This one is called Star Wars. Which actually sounds really exciting. I'm not gonna lie. Respawn Entertainment, creators of Titanfall and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and such, are currently creating an official Star Wars Mandalorian FPS game that's reportedly extremely ambitious and has been officially started because of the fans' demand for it and for how good the series was. Most people thought this rumored game that Respawn was making was a new Star Wars Republic Commando game, which would have Been awesome actually, but turns out it's all centered on the Mandalorian, and it sounds really promising. You、Ubisoft、guys also have to、that. know about it. Like the video, and let's get into it right away.、Okay. Tom Anderson from Insider Gaming has revealed that Respawn Entertainment is developing a first-person Star Wars Mandalorian game that is in、okay. its early slash middle stages of development. According to sources, the game will see the player take control of a Mandalorian bounty hunter, which is unclear who at the time. Said during the time when the Galactic Empire is dominating across. And if you're into Star Wars, it is your job as a bounty hunter to capture bounties, dead or alive, for cash rewards. This will give you the opportunity to explore different places, talk to different unique characters, and decide whether they live or not in this harsh, dangerous world full of different enemies and monsters. Okay, so this gameplay got to be the from the new Ubisoft. So Ubisoft is also working on Star Wars. If um, yeah, they're working on it. Allows the players to perform horizontal dashing, vertical jumping, boost sliding, which is somewhat similar to sliding down hill. In Apex Legends and more, sources describe the game as very fast-paced, and as such,、uh -huh. will reward players who play in this style. For example, the player's health will mainly regenerate based on successive kills, and you'll have to be super agile as enemies will be very dangerous to you. You're not a Jedi now. You're not very strong, so you have to be extra careful. Insider Gaming continues on by saying, as to be expected, playing as a Mandalorian bounty hunter gives the player a wide variety of weapons and gadgets, including your wrist rocket. Get grab the hook. Advisor for tagging enemies and bounties and more. Yo, Tana's looking kind of different right now. Give him a chicken nugget or two, bro. The linear level is taking place on a variety of different planets in the Star Wars universe. While it's unclear when the game will be released, it was said we're still a year or two away at the very least. Well, that is wild because we're getting a new Ubisoft、uh, Star Wars game. This one is called Killer Clowns with a K from outer space. June fourth, I believe, this year. And, and honestly, though, like we're yeah, Ubisoft is probably gonna call their Star Wars game quadruple A game,、Bruh. like Skull and Bones. So I don't feel too hot about their game now after that Skull and Bones. What are your thoughts? I mean, so many people also are defending Skull and Bones. 
right I, I i don't know man like do you like it do you not like it i'm not gonna judge you or anything but it's like damn bro they are literally calling quadruple a game charging you 70 dollars and literally pissing on your head right now but if you i mean if you enjoy it you enjoy it like i, I guess that it'd be what it'd be but holy crap standards are really going down man your bastards gonna hear you coming a mile away <laughs> Teamwork is life, amigos, and you have to stay alive to win. Hell yeah! Oh hell nah, bro! Hey yo! Yeah, it's giving me that Dead by Daylight kind of vibe, but with the with the clowns. Yeah, honestly, the, I can see this game blow up as well. Recently, Hell Divers has been blowing up a lot, a lot of people, and even the devs did not see that coming. Even Sony, like, forget about the devs, though, forget about the company that made it, but even Sony, the publisher, uh, PlayStation, I, even they did not see that coming. So, they're starting off really, really, really strong with their live service games, because Sony, they're lacking live service games, right? They only do, like, movie tap games, single player games like God of War, Horizon, Spider Man right so now they are like diving into new ones and i think they needed that because uh, they are scared playstation i play on playstation like this is not a sony pony or xbox hey guys i know like sony ponies and xbox can never get along but playstation was worried about call of duty going exclusive uh, and they still worry that eventually it will because uh, right now for 10 years give or take it's not gonna for the foreseeable future and realistically we don't even know whether it's gonna be 10 years because they never like publicly said how long they signed the contract for Initially, Phil Spencer wanted Jim Ryan to sign for 10 years. He declined because Jim Ryan was like, maybe we can get the deal to be canceled. And they could not. Bruh. Then they offered them a new deal, which we do not know. Can be five years, can be two years, can be this year only. Listen, we're not sure. We're assuming it's 10 years again because they turned down the initial 10 year deal. Maybe what if like Phil was like, okay, we're going to give you 20 years, 20 years. And Jim is like, okay, man, let me sign this, you know? But I doubt that. So they signed it for how long, however long that is. Eventually, if Microsoft wants, they can put Call of Duty off of PlayStation and they can get, uh, they can make it exclusive, right? But I don't think they will for the foreseeable future. They don't want to for the foreseeable future. But PlayStation is worrying. I mean, listen, it's a corporation. Sony, like, oh man, like, they, it's not in our hands right now. We want control. And right now, PlayStation has lost control of Call of Duty. So they really are working right now on live service games to boost up their revenue. They're trying to get something out there that actually does well. And that can do numbers like Call of Duty. And they have been saying it. And they have said it numerous times that, bro, like, we cannot compete with Call of Duty. And I... I truly believe they believe that, right? Because the the servers were so bad, and the servers still are bad for Helldivers, because they never thought that it's going to blow up the way it did. So they don't have the servers, and right now they're like, okay, let me get this, let us get the servers on. This one is called Indica, I believe. This is like the Nun game, right? And get ready for, uh, we got more right after. This the is like heroine of up. this story, if it were up to her would have preferred to stay within its walls. However... Destiny had something different. Damn, we got a sister out here. Yeah, I remember this one. The guy looks like... The guy looks like Jesse Pinkman on 20 pounds of meth. <laughs> 20 pounds of meth. I don't know, man. Y'all like y'all feel the sister nun game or what? We got Jesse Pinkman in this one as well. But yeah, Helldivers is like really blowing up. I think the and it's amazing to see that. Initially, I wasn't feeling Helldivers, but then I I heard this take from Mr. T. Like Sophia. Those of you who know, you know her, right? Uh, he's very big on Call of Duty Zombies. In fact, I used to be too. I I love Call of Duty Zombies. Never never really hated till they started like removing the the zombies crew making it more multiplayer is ish and modern warfare 3 didn't even have a zombie back you know what i'm saying they're doing the zombies community dirty dog they're doing us dirty bro so i lost interest but i'm keen for call of duty 2024 and zombies i hope they do it justice man i want the i want a proper zombies crew how many of you guys played zombies so, Mr. T likes to fight, loves zombies, he plays it 24-7, and he had a take, like, hey, listen, like, I love zombies, right? So, Helldivers is kind of similar in a way, because it's PvE, player versus environment, 
And when he said that, I'm like, holy crap, like, I'm now seeing that too. It's like, y you know what, like, it's open world, zombies kind of is. Uh, it's not, but, you know, you can feel that way. Because I played zombies a lot in my early days, okay? So I, ha I love PvE games. And then I'm like, holy crap. You know, and the more I see Helldivers, I'm like, holy crap, it does look quite nice. Uh, uh, even though I have not purchased, um, am not looking to for now. Because I'm not getting any free time right now. So, yeah. I, I don't want to, like, waste uh, money and, and not play. Even though the game is looking nice. But deep down, like, I I'm actually glad that game is blowing up. I want to see more game blowing up, right? Because, uh... The gaming industry is its not dying. I know a lot of you would say it's dying. I wouldn't say it's dying. I wouldn't say it's dead because they're making more money than God. It's like alive. A lot more people are playing. It's the biggest industry, right? Like it's surpassed movies as well. But it's getting stale. That I agree with you. Like they're not, there aren't many games that are coming out. Or scratch that. There are a lot of games coming out, but there aren't many good games coming out. I know most of you want AAA projects. Indie games are killing it right now. I agree. Helldivers, not necessarily an indie game, but give or take, I wouldn't call Helldivers a triple-A game, I would call it a double-A game, and that's a compliment, because, let's be real, when you got Ubisoft calling Skull and Bones quadruple-A game, and doing bold crap, and they're pissing on gamers' heads, and it's not doing good in public reception, and I have to believe that even in terms of, like, sales, it's not doing good, this is called Dark Web Streamer. Coming out on PC. Oh man, come on, man. But 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 seeing Hell Divers doing insane numbers, that's a compliment from my end, actually. I think this is a horror game. Knock knock. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Oh, the dark web dog? Evil streets. They will watch. They will follow. Oh, it's, I think it's a dark web game. You honestly, you honestly, this might actually be good though. Okay, I don't want like a uh, holy crap. It's probably gonna have a jump scare, I'm assuming. Or maybe not. Dark web streamer. Okay, it's like a dark web streamer. But guys, recently we had 30 plus minutes of new gameplay reveals. Click on this video on the screen. If you love this one, you're gonna love this one as well. And we had seriously a ton of games, more than one FPS game as well. And you might find like, if you're a Call of Duty refugee, you're probably gonna find a good one, okay? Check it out, I'll see you right there.